As modern vehicles continue to grow in complexity, their maintenance needs are changing. Component failures that were commonplace just a decade or two ago are becoming much less common today. An example of this is the throttle position sensor, or TPS, which would be mounted on the throttle body, usually on the opposite of the throttle cable. The throttle position sensor was used to tell the engine control unit what angle the throttle body was being opened to by the driver, and the ECU would adjust the fuel as needed based on this data as well as other inputs. These sensors were cheap and easy to replace. They didn't fail very often, but they eventually would wear out. So what happened to throttle position sensors and why don't we see them as often today? The short answer is they're still around, they're just incorporated into a larger assembly the electronic throttle body. Throttle by wire technology has been called by many names, but it operates on a simple principle. An electronic throttle body is used to meter the air entering the engine. The important thing to understand is that there's no longer a mechanical link between the accelerator pedal under the dashboard and the throttle body on the engine. With the advent of throttle by wire systems, we've seen a change in how the ECU measures the throttle position. In fact, some electronic throttle bodies may contain more than one throttle position sensor. By using multiple sensors, the ECU can monitor and compare both sensor inputs. The real downside to throttle by wire is that they're less serviceable than traditional systems. If a TPS failed on a cable-driven throttle body, you could replace the sensor for around $30 to $40 and be back on the road. If a TPS fails inside an electronic throttle body, you'll have to replace the entire unit and that could cost hundreds of dollars. Then, after the electronic throttle body has been replaced, your customer will need to perform a relearn procedure so the ECU can learn how the new throttle body reacts to input and where the internal mechanical stops are located. Failing to perform this critical step can cause a number of drivability concerns and a costly customer comeback. Still, throttle by wire systems offer a number of advantages. They contain fewer moving parts, so that means less maintenance and lower overall vehicle weight. Their precision allows for improved fuel economy and reduced tailpipe emissions, as well as a better overall driving experience for the typical driver. Finally, the throttle body can be used to help the traction or stability control regain vehicle control. As far as drawbacks, they're more expensive to replace. They're more complex due to the wiring and electronic control units that are used and they're harder to service for technicians due to their complexity and the specialized tools that are required. Here are a few things you should know when selling a replacement electronic throttle body. First, ask the customer if they have a scan tool that's capable of bi-directional control. A simple code reader won't work for this job. Another thing to keep in mind is that many electronic throttle bodies are installed in plastic intake manifolds, so it's a good idea to sell the customer a new throttle body seal, as well as any other seals or gaskets they'll need to get the job done. Finally, advise your customer to closely inspect the wiring harness and connections for any signs of rubbing, fraying, or other issues. These sorts of problems can come back to bite them later on down the road. Thanks for watching.